Welcome back to the B-League for the Bourne Network's Marble Championship final season. Today we have balancing. Now, in the last event of the B-League, we had the Distance Drag and the Crossfires Reserve member took a very good gold there. And I believe the Midnight Stars and the Draconics had the podium as well. And in the last event that we saw, which was of course the A-League balancing, we saw a great record-breaking run from the hosts, the Emerald Skies. But let's see if any of these B-Leaguers can match that record performance. And we start off with the Twilights, who apart from a decent, ugh. Well, about to say, apart from a decent dirt dash, uh, things haven't gone well for them, and it is not going to go well here. Three of those marbles falling off instantly. And I dare say that is going to be a contender for the worst run we will see today. So the worst performance in the A-League was a 209, and the Twilights have already bested that. Or, should I say worse did that? No, that doesn't sound right. But that is the worst performance we have seen so far across both leagues. And the Foresters here do not want to repeat that. They will want to try and balance to the end. Let's see how they go. Solid bouncing out the gate. One falls off early, but two of them are going to make it close to the end. They will get a finisher. 130 points for that marble. I believe it was Aspen. And consistent from the other marbles, too. That is a lot more like what we saw in the A-League. It's not going to break any records, but over 300, I presume. Look at that. First one to fall off, that's got to be around 40. 346, a great run from the Foresters. That would be top five, maybe, in the A-League. Of course, the A-League performers at the top of their game, but you would want the uh, B-League performers to also be at the top of their game. Because just because it's a B-League doesn't mean these marbles are not trying to do their best. Ooh, the crossfires, oh, that fell apart for them. All the marbles can be seen on screen at once, so consistent run for sure, but not a consistently good run. I don't think they will have a single marble get over 80, even. Let's have a look here. What is the score going to say? Look, that marble. That furthest marble was 73, but it is not last. The Twilights were even worse. As I predicted, that Twilights run was very tragic. So... Pretty much any half decent run is not going to get dead last year. Is the Midnight Stars, who have had a solid B League so far, and this is going to go pretty well as well. The Midnight Stars will hit the bullseye in the B League. Now, if you remember back in season five, the Midnight Stars were the only team to hit the bullseye then, and they've hit the bullseye again. I wonder if it was even the same athlete, but uh. I guess we're not able to know that for sure, but right now. But it's not enough to beat the Foresters. The other marbles did, didn't do enough, even with that bullseye. Second overall still. Foresters hold the lead, 346. That is what the Gardeners are looking to beat here. Gardeners haven't had the best of B-League so far either, and oh my goodness. Well, when I said the Twilight's run was a contender for the worst performance we will see today. I did not expect that we would see something like that. Um, I don't think any of those marbles got over 40. Yeah, one of the marbles tries to sneak its way to the end on the measuring tape. That is not going to happen, sir. Oh, my. 113! That is a horrible run from the Gardeners, and if we see anyone do worse than that, then I think some of these marbles need to take a good look at themselves in the mirror. But uh, let's not dwell on that pitiful performance. Here we go. This is a little better from the Alpha Hunters. Still not the Foresters level or even the Midnight Stars, but definitely better than the Gardeners. Let's see. Oh, actually, those first three did fall off quite early. Still should be better than the Gardeners and the Twilights. I mean, it'll definitely be better than the Gardeners. It might rival the Twilight's run, though. Third out of six. Wow, these runs are really not... They're really not mirroring the performances we saw in the A-League. Maybe apart from the Foresters and the Midnight Stars runs, all the others have really fallen off. Well, 
Uh, excuse the pun there. But we move on to the second half here. The Penguin Patriots, they have certainly seen a good few examples of what not to do on the balance beam here. And here we go. This is a good start. Oh, this is very good. Two of their marbles. Ooh. One of them bouncing off their teammate, almost staying on the board, but didn't get them very, f or didn't get them any farther. But that is a little more like it. That should take a provisional podium so far. And let's have a look here. Actually, look at that. All four of their members on maybe over 50. Look at that. Their worst marble was 61. That is a fantastically consistent run, but still not quite enough to top the Foresters. Not having a finisher pretty much took that away from them. Now we enter the latter third here with the Rosemarys. Haven't really been of too noticeable of this B-League. And that run is not going to be horrible, but I don't. it's not going to challenge for a win. And I don't think it'll challenge for a podium either. But it should be mid-pack at least. Maybe in the mid-200s, I would assume, just from watching that. See, having a second marble get far. 254. Almost one of them getting to 100. A 99 for that best run. Now, Team Mariana. Team Mariana started the B-League with the gold in the dirt dash, but then the distance drag went almost the complete opposite for them. Oh my gosh, that didn't go too well either, but they are going to get a finish. What a roller coaster run that was. It started off pretty horribly. I don't, the cooperation between all the marbles just was non-existent, but somehow two of them managed to... Look at this. The back marble comes straight to the front, barges everyone aside but they still managed to keep their bearings about them and get a solid score out of that. It's not going to fight for a podium, though. Fourth for Team Mariana because of that uh, mishap, I guess you could say, at the start. Now the Draconics. Draconics have, in two events, gotten two medals, a silver in the Dirt Dash and a bronze. Oh, my gosh. That did not start well. One of them is going to salvage a little bit of points by getting a good portion of the way down, but... I was about to say, can they keep their great run going with a silver in the dirt dash, a bronze in the distance drag? But I dare say, it will not be another medal here. One of them technically does get to the end on the measuring tape, but it will not be counted for those points. Let's have a look here. Eighth out of ten. Ooh. Another 99, just like the, uh, just like Team Mariana. Oh, oh, sorry, not Team Mariana, the one before that. The Rosemary's. Not what the Draconics wanted as we head into the last two runs. True Blue Crew have finished in eighth place in both of the first two events. Oh, and this is not going to be a top half, I don't think. None of their marbles fell off too early. I'd say that the worst marble is maybe like a 35 or a 40. But it didn't have... Yeah, I'm not too sure... It's not going to be last, so 7th out of 11. In fact, I think that just beats the run we just saw from the Draconics. Just goes to show how consistency will do you. Now for the Swamp Crashers. Swamp Crashers here, if they do better than the True Blue Crew, then True Blue Crew will have three eighths in a row, which is probably not what they want. But, oh, this is actually a solid run. Not a finisher, or... Should I say no finishers for the Swamp Crashers? But that is a consistent run. Three of those marbles made it at least to that middle Lego block. And that is solid points. So this might be top half. It is top half. A fifth place with a 273. But that means that the Foresters will claim gold. In the B-League balancing, the Penguin Patriots take the silver and the Midnight Stars with a back-to-back -back podium. They got a silver in the last one and a bronze. So Midnight Stars doing really well here. And the Foresters will jump five spots into a tied lead with the Midnight Stars heading into the next B-League event.